Frank, you know there is a place out here at the State Fair where you can see lizards, snakes, and alligators. It's the WCCO booth. Come on by. No, I'm kidding. We're not snakes, lizards, or alligators. It's Monty's Traveling Reptile Show. You become a bit of a staple here, Monty. We love having you stop by with some of your critters. And, boy, only a snake could like this kind of weather we have here, right? Well, all reptiles like warmth. Uh, you know, they're cold-blooded, so they rely on the heat to get going and metabolize food and everything. Here in Minnesota, they have about 120 days to be above the ground and get it on. And... Uh, you know, I've been here since 1980, and it's amazing how many people have never taken a chance to really take a look at them, because we weren't born with a fear of snakes. We learn it or absorb it from our relatives or whatever. But when you really get down to it, if you don't like them, like what they do. So I'd like to introduce, first of all, a snake that has a very bad reputation. It's the timber rattlesnake that lives in Minnesota. He's right here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, yeah, it's moving. <laughs> and it's long. Well, it's about three and a half feet. This individual I've had for a long time, so he's very good at show business, and he stays on the hook. You sure about that? Yep, we take him to schools and try to tell people that this snake can be found in the southeastern part of Minnesota, and if you ever walk up on one, just leave it alone. And if you get too close, he'll rattle. This guy's been around show business so long, he doesn't get excited about anything. And uh, Hey, Amelia, come here. And, and Monty, is, is there meaning to the, how many, I'm not going to put my finger there. Is there meaning to how many rattles are on the end of the tail there? Well, it depends. If you were up in uh, British Columbia where the Pacific Coast li lives, one rattle would indicate one year, maybe. Okay. But down south in Texas, it could be eight rattles in one year because they live where it's warm and they're active. Here, we probably get three, maybe four a year on our timber rattler, so you can't age them unless you know when they are actually born. Can we see our softer, gentler friend? Okay. All right, we got another one here that he's going to show that doesn't shake, rattle, and roll like that one. Thank goodness. <laughs> Woo, he's big too. <laughs> this is uh, Minnesota's best rat trap, and if you surprise this guy, he'll pretend he's a timber rattler. He'll vibrate his tail against his body or a blade of grass. This is the Minnesota bull snake, a farmer's best friend. As a young man in uh, western Wisconsin, we used to shock grain and thrash, and I would always tip the shocks over to dry them out first before the guys came and loaded them up. And I would scoop these up by the dozens and put them in a gunny sack and take them home and put them in the granary in the corn crib. And we never used that bad word, poison, on our farm. We had a healthy population of bull snakes. Everybody that lived within my vicinity grew up knowing that a good snake is an alive snake taking care of the rodents. That's why they're built the way they are. No ears, no legs, long and skinny to go down in a gopher hole and get rid of them guys. Monty, thank you for coming by. Most people know where you are here, right? Just kitty corner from our booth. Right. If you say kitty corner in California where I winter, they think we're going to the kitty rides. <laughs> That's not what I mean, folks. <laughs> but come see Monty as always and all his fun little friends. It's a good time. Frank, Amelia? Uh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, and thanks to our producer for not making me do that segment. Well, uh, Monty, when you opened the thing up, she stepped back four feet. So, yeah. <laughs> I jumped back. Uh, what we have now, though, is nothing but fun. These guys are so entertaining and so energetic. Yes, we have Tom Mason and the Blue Buccaneers. Welcome. I know you guys are performing here at the State Fair. Hi. Hi, <laughs> matey. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the kind of music that you play, how you guys came to be. Well, we write pirate music, and uh, I live in Nashville, Tennessee. And, a lot uh, of pirates down there. Yes, I'd say, how did that come I live out? in the port, yes, it's the port of Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. I actually grew up in the port of Pig's Eye, and as a child, we would try to s scale the walls of the uh, Minnesota State Exposition, and never were quite successful. So I moved to Nashville in the early no 1990s, and uh, started working on my musical Trojan horse, and I've found our way into the Minnesota State Fair. Congratulations. Yes, That's congratulations. Great. Where can people see it? The, we'll be at the uh, International Bazaar stage on Sunday and Monday, Labor Day weekend okay. at 315, 430, and 545. Well, we Fun. would love to hear you perform. Fantastic. So we're gonna... Now, 
This group, they've already learned one of our songs. Oh, oh good. They're smart. We have the best audiences anywhere. Indeed. Come splice the main brace me hearty as you fools. You'll soon be the dinner for bloodthirsty schools. I want my horn swaggled, so don't even try. The life that you've chosen, you'll never be dry. You're a scallywag blackguard. Come share me some grog. You'll wear a hemp and halter when you swing from the log. So heave to and say a few prayers as you drink. It's the Davy Jones locker. You surely will sink and we'll all go down. We'll all go down. We'll all go down with the ship. Perfect. A clap of thunder, me matey. Drink it on down. There's 